Um, hi everyone, I'm Yun Ling from National University of Singapore. And in this talk, I'm going to introduce our computer vision and intention-based phishing detection approach. While phishing attack is attack to compromise users' privacy with a set of social engineering tricks, then attackers will create a faking website with a similar appearance with a legitimate website, and then it will send the links to many people. If the people are careless, they will fill in the information on the web page and send their credentials back to the attackers. If your information or privacy has been sent to the attackers on, in such a way, it will have a lot of consequence. The attackers can transfer the money in your bank, can, can deliver misinformation in your name, and start new attacks in your account. So there is strong evidence showing that the phishing web page, the phishing attack, has caused has caused the loss of thousands or even millions of dollars in, in a month. And even worse, the data is showing that the phishing attack, the number of phishing attackers is keep growing. And for the, as for the defense of phishing attack, so it has been a long run cat and mouse games. So the majority of industry solutions are blacklist based. Let's take Google Safe Browsing as an example. So when attackers have created web pages, uh, phishing web pages, the Google Safe Browsing will take on average, seven days to put that URL domains into the blacklist. When the attackers find that its list, its, its URL has been blocked, it will create a new one, so it will take another seven days for the Google Safe Browsing to take it into the blacklist. So unfortunately, we can see that in this game, the cat has a huge advantage over the mouse. First, the, the attacker can still have a sliding window of seven days to run attack. And a second, we can find that the attackers can almost fully automate the process. There is, there is strong evidence showing that the automation has already happened, which means that attackers can create a web page and a new domain <coughs> every day with very little cost. Last but not least, the attackers can change and update its HTML content from time to time which means that a lot of feature engineering-based approach, machine learning-based approach, will get obsolete. So in this work, we propose our phishing intention solution. <clears throat> so our idea is that we build a screenshot-based approach, which allows us to get rid of the complication of HTML code analysis, and our fish intention agent will look into the screenshot as the users do, and we orchestrate a set of computer vision techniques to detect the brand intention and the credential taking intention on the screenshot. And the brand intention is used to check the consistency with the URL domain of the new web page for its malicious potential. And the credential taking intention is used to confirm such a malicious intention. In addition, our phishing intention agent can also use computer vision technique to interact with the web page without take, interact the web page not taking the credential to see whether any links and buttons on the web page can lead to a credential taking web page. And our approach falls into a category of reference-based efficient detection. The reference-based efficient detections will keep a list of legit legitimate web page as a reference. And for each reference items, it describes what domain can be represented by what screenshot or what logos. So when a new web page comes in, on it will see whether this web page can match, can match a reference logo or a reference, or a reference, a reference screenshot. If the web page can match a reference, can, can make such a match, while cannot, can, its domain cannot match the reference do, domain, so we will raise a phishing alarm. So this approach sounds very logical, but it has a lot of technical issues. If we take a screenshot as a representation, we can see that different, different brands may, take, may have similar screenshots, web page screenshots. In this case, we may have false positive in practice. If, and we can also see that on the same brand can have diff, totally different screenshots, which also means that uh, we will have false negative in practice. On the other hand, if we take logo as a representation, we can find many benign web pages will take, will have the logo of a big company, and it will give us a lot of false positive in practice. Therefore, we can see that the screenshot and logo can only convey very partial web page intention. 
And in this work, we propose fish intention solutions. First, our intention is very comprehensive. It consists of the brand intention and the credential taking intentions. And technically, we are using static and dynamic web page analysis to achieve and detect such intention. And our approach orchestrates four deep learning computer vision techniques to this end. And for our first deep learning model, we transfer a web page screenshot into an abstract layout. In this abstract layout, we only keep, we only keep the shape and the location of the most salient UI elements. And the salient UI elements consists of logo, button, input, label, and the block. And once we get this abstract layout, we're further, and technically, we're using an object detection approach to do this. And once we have the layout, we can find that the logo is part of the layout. Therefore, we compare the logo with the reference logos to see whether there will be a match. And technically, we are building a Simus model or a matching learning approach to compare the similarity of two logos. And we design a novel a, a model design for that. And for more details, please refer to a paper's more details. And if we can find uh, the logo can be matched with the reference logo, while the, while the domains cannot match the reference domain, so we find a malicious potential. Therefore, we further proceed to see whether the web page still have the credential taking intention. To this end, we create a binary classification model to do this. To do this. And a zero for non-credential taking intention and a one for credential taking intention. And as for the input, we combine both the screenshot and abstract layout. And if we can find that really uh, credential taking intentions, we report a fission. If not, we further apply an object detection technique to detect which region on a screenshot might lead to another credential taking web page. So when we have a new page, we will extract the layout, de detect the branding intentions, and creating the credential taking intention, so on and so forth. So our approach is an iterative approach. In order to evaluate our performance, we create five experiments. So the fishing de in the fission detection experiment, and we compare the precision recall and the collected fission web page data set. And as for the CRP location experiment, we answer the question, what is the performance to find a cred credential taking page from a non-credential taking page? As for evaluating the model-wise performance, we um, design separate experiment for each deep learning model. In addition, our each deep learning models were, may have the adversary attack, so we also evaluated the robustness of our deep learning models. And finally, we, we run the fish in, the, our fish intention project to detect, how, to detect it, to evaluate performance on whether it can have a, whether it can detect the zero-day fishing web pages in the wild. As for, for, for the sake of time, we um, only reported the, the, the fission discovery experiment. And in this experiment, we first are uh, using a search string service to find the newly created web pages every day. So they are zero day web page. So each web pages will be feeding to five reference based, so reference based efficient detention solutions. And a fishing intention is one of them. So if any of the solutions has reported a fishing web page, and we use a telegram service to push this information to, to our participants. And those participants will manually evaluate uh, whether it is a real fission. And once we find a real fission, and we were also to check the virus total to see whether any of the engines will also report as a fission. If not, we believe we find a zero day fission web page. As a, we run this experiment for two months, and as a result, fish intention reports close to 2K real fishing web pages. And among them, about 1.3K are zero day fishings. Comparing to the zero day, uh, compared to the other baseline approach, fish intention have the best performance. And among the discovery, we find that Microsoft, Facebook, HSBC Bank, Amazons, and Instagrams are the most on, are the brands with the most attack. Now let's discuss the limitation approach. So we will have the false positive. The reason is that we do not have the linkage between the detected brand intention and the credential taking information, which means that the web page may take credentials, but not the credentials for the brand. So in this case, we may have the false positive. 
In addition, we find that some phishing web pages were using some special form of credential taking. So we have this, this QR code. In this case, our approach does not work for the current stage. Now it's a takeaways. So in this work, we propose phishing intention, a visual reference-based phishing detection solutions. We detect both the brand and the credential taking intentions. And to support these intentions, we designed both static and a dynamic approach to look and interact with the web pages. And finally, we developed a tool to effectively det detect zero-day phishing web pages. And the, the, our source code has been delivered in the, the GitHub uh, link. Yeah, that's all for my talk. And any questions, welcome.